Hey everyone, you're watching AshDev. Welcome to the bonus part of our arcade car controller series. Well, we remember mentioning with part four that we will be completing this series, but later we found that there are a few improvements we need to do with the car controller, so here we are with a bonus episode for you. First thing, in the turning function of the car controller script, while passing the car velocity ratio as an argument into the turning curve, pass the absolute value of it because the turning curve doesn't goes up to the negative side, so it returns zero for all its negative values, and as a result it doesn't turn while going backwards. Now, after correction, the car is turning while going back. Next correction is also in the script itself. In deceleration function, replace move input with car velocity ratio. So by doing that, the car will also decelerate when the player isn't giving any input and comes to rest. Next thing needs to be done is to keep the car's velocity less than the max speed. So in acceleration function check if the current car local velocities Z component is less than max velocity and only then accelerate the car so that the car won't get further accelerated above the max velocity. The next fix is in the skid smoke particle system. Under the emission settings, we used burst because we thought it would be a better option, but came out not to be so. Remove the burst and set the emission over time to 10, and rate over distance also needs to be set to 10. Now, get back to the script. Under visual section in VFX function, add one more condition check checking if the car is driving forward only by checking if the car velocity ratio is greater than zero. Now that we've finished making corrections, it's time to implement the braking mechanism. To do this, we'll introduce two new float variables, braking deceleration and braking drag coefficient. Set braking deceleration to 100, which is higher than the standard deceleration rate to ensure the car stops promptly when the player applies the brake. The braking drag coefficient should be set to 0.5, which is lower than the usual drag coefficient to account for the reduced friction of the tires while braking. In the deceleration function, check if the player is pressing the space button. If they are, apply the braking deceleration value. Otherwise, continue to use the normal deceleration rate. Apply a similar logic in the sideways drag function. Use the braking drag coefficient when the brake is applied and the normal drag coefficient otherwise. These values can be adjusted in the Unity Inspector to fine-tune the car's braking behavior. With these adjustments, your car will now have a functional brake system. And that concludes this part. So the car controller now is pretty much complete. Have fun and share the projects you made using this car controller on our Discord server. Goodbye.